Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another edition of 7 Support Tips in Under 2 Minutes, or as I like to call it, 7 Quickies. Today, we will be covering another one of my favorite supports, Nami, an enchanter support with incredible healing power and one of the best engages. She can be a game-changing champion that can easily turn the tides. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for more content like this, and hit that like button if you do end up enjoying this video. Also, I do stream League on Twitch, so please feel free to come by and hang out with our community. Check the description box below to know when I go live. Alright, without further ado, here are 7 support tips you need to learn for Nami in under 2 minutes. Tip number 1. Try to throw your bubbles when you're out of vision. This will make it more difficult for the enemy to react to getting stunned. You can also try to wait for your teammate to land a crowd control ability, or wait to knock them up with your ultimate first before throwing out your bubble. Tip number 2. Your E ability enhances any spell or auto attack 3 times by increasing the user's damage while applying a small slow. Use this on yourself or an ally to help you apply CC on an enemy target. You can even use your E ability while your ally partner's auto attack is flying through the air. Tip number 3. Consider binding a mouse button to self-cast your E ability. This will allow you to buff yourself for a tiny speed boost to zoom around the map, helping you arrive to objectives and establish vision control sooner. Tip number 4. Nami's passive allows you to speed up your ally team with any of her abilities. In teamfights, your ultimate will provide your enemy team with a significant speed boost. Generally, you want to use your W or E ability to speed up teammates, but in rare cases, you can even use your bubble to speed up your teammates. Tip number 5. Your ultimate is a great engage tool, but can be a little slow. Try to use it when the enemy is cornered in a choke, or as a secondary follow-up engage. If you see a priority target missing the escape cooldown, play aggressively to get a pick. Conversely, your ultimate is also an amazing disengage tool. If your carry is being constantly targeted in teamfights, focus your efforts on peeling rather than engaging. Tip number 6. Remember that your W ability bounces an additional 2 times after it is cast, alternating between ally and enemy. You can use this aggressively in lane to trade damage while making sure you keep healthy in lane. However, in poke heavy lanes, you will want to save your W to negate any of that poke damage. Tip number 7. If you have summoned Airy as your keystone rune, you can proc Arden Sensor on 2 different targets by first using E, then W. This will increase the attack speed and provide bonus magic damage for multiple allies. Nice, we finished with one second left on the clock. If you have any important tips that I may have missed, or you want to let me know which of these 7 quickies were most helpful, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button too. It really really does help. With these 7 tips, you are ready to play Nami in Summoner's Rift Ranked Solo Queue. See y'all in Diamond! Untouchable. That's gonna be uh you know uh fascinating transition. Yeah.